Yo, what's up? It's Serena. And it's Kampa. And we are the Cataracts. And you are watching the Bay Area Block Report. Made away Kingdom. I'm with the Cataracts. And you're watching the Bay Area Block Report. A couple questions lined up for you guys. Yeah, yes. definitely. You know, for uh, for those that don't know, you know what I'm saying, why don't you tell them all y'all where, you know, where you're from? Uh, Berkeley, California, right across the bridge from San Francisco. All right, so, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're in Wanna Creek right now promoting yep. their, uh, you know, brand new single, Club Love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got a, you, a unique style, a unique sound. Thanks, bro. Yeah, Thank where you. did you... Uh, I appreciate that. I like, really, where did you get it? You know what I'm saying? Where did you come up with that? Um, you know, I, I uh, there was a sale on style. Uh, then downtown Berkeley, it was 2003, and I just cashed out like a hundred dollars. Just got this. He, got we this just stuff. put a stack down. We was like, we need that hot <laughs> shit. You feel me? There you go. And bro. they were like, yo, I, I got, got that shit. shit. Hey. They reached back in 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 my inventory. Money makes everything happen, man. Hey, bro, wherever you, you went to go get that, you gotta gotta let me know, okay? No, no, I'm kidding. Man. Honestly, you you don't get style from anywhere, but yeah, you know your heart. That's you know? It's inside That's you. Up. Yeah. Now the cataracts. How'd y'all come up with that name? Man. Okay. So there's, there's, there's two answers, right? Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the real answer is that Snoop Dogg had this song. It was actually called Snoop Dogg. And it went like, Snoop Dogg, smoke till my eyes get cataracts. Snoop yeah. Dogg. So we thought that if we, if we smoked enough marijuana, that eventually we would get um, cataracts. And we thought that was cool. Cause you know we're like 15. So well, hey, look, you have to Snoop Dogg on that one. So you got Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Yeah, Snoop Dogg is getting a lot of, a lot of shout outs right now. You, your bones. Hey. We, we got our name, the Cataracts, from a Snoop Dogg song. You know what I'm saying? From the movie yeah. to the, you know, yeah. to the group's name. But hey. it's not about him. It's about the Cataracts, right? Now. <laughs> Snoop's done. He's gonna be done after this. Um, okay. crazy. But, but then, but there is another answer that, yeah. as Campus says, um, leads a little bit of a better taste in people's mouth, which is that we um, we are the cataracts because we see things differently. So. There you go. Yeah, that's your real man. answer, though. That's your real yeah. answer. So I, I see, you know, you do a lot of work with a lot of Bay Area artists, you know what I'm saying, yeah, E-40, exactly. your boy, you know what I'm saying, Clyde Carson, people yeah. like that. Is there anybody in the future that you guys, you know what I'm saying, want to do any work with? Gucci. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to work with Gucci, Gucci man. Gucci, don't go to jail, please. Yeah. OJ. OJ the Juice, man. I'd, I'd like to, you know, in the studio with him. Um, man, David Bowie would be cool. That would be dope. The legend, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's good. You know, hey, branch out. You know, no, if we could, if we out. could create, like, you know, like a club song with Bruce Springsteen, that would be, that would be, that'd be great. Black report. Black report. Black report. Black report. Black report. Man, I'm just I'm trying to win Grammys straight up, I'm trying to win like five Grammys and just make music with a bunch of different types of artists, styles, genres. Oh, that's true. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, look, you produce a lot of your own music and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's I produce all our own music, man. Everything. Everything. Yeah, that's everything. the key word. Everything. Yeah. Check it out. Everything. You know what I'm saying? So. That's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Even like in the end of the day, I'm, you know, I know you had a lot to do. So, what is like a basic day in the life of the Cataracts? Um, we, we produce a lot for other people. Yeah. So, on any given day, we'll work on some Cataract stuff, but we'll also make sure that, you know what I'm saying, we're songwriting and, and producing for other people. Yeah. Um, because that's gotten us out there like crazy. Like, you mentioned G6, that's a, that's the yeah, Varis movement. Yeah. Um, you know, we work with your boy, E40, Clyde, I mean... We just try to we try to work with as many people as we can. That's that that's really done a lot for us. And then um and then work on our own stuff and then we have shows like this, you know, out on the creek right now we got this show and uh Yeah. And and whatever, man, just getting ourselves out there and uh, you know, just making music. We just love to make music, honestly, above all. So that's, that's, that's the only so thing I know how to do. So you know, what what are some kind of influences? I'm taking, you know, like, I'm taking you got like a lot of different influences. What are you know a couple that you would say? Non, you know, whatever, like any type. Man, you mentioned Bruce. Uh, you mean, uh, Tupac for Tupac, sure. Yeah, definitely. Elliot Smith. Uh, production wise, um, a lot of people. I mean, I love like Dane James and and, and Timbo and um, Polo. He's killing it. Polo is killing it. Murder. I mean, uh, Young L from the back. Murder. He's really dope. Um, you know, Dre. 
much. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, yeah all, all the legends, you know? Just anybody who great, anyone and who the, makes great music, I'll never count you out, you know? And the Beatles. Beatles. The Beatles. Anyone who's ever done anything oh. different. There you go. Everything's ever just been themselves. Shout out to Grizzly Bears inspiring me yeah. as of late. I dig their, their stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you got a performance tonight over at Vice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Vice so Ultra so. Lounge. That's what's up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That, that's a good place. For everybody out there, you make sure you check it out. Hey, well, you know, hey, look, it was really great talking to you guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, no, for these real. Guys, you're, you're, you're a chill dude. For hey, real. these for guys real. are the best guys I've met so far. You know what I mean? So best, far. Just All right? Hey, look. We're they, fast, we're strong, we're smart. We're the new breed. They can run faster musicians. and jump higher and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Shout all out right. to Muscle Milk. Yeah. All right, VH1 <laughs> well, was good, you know, having you. But for right now, you know, they got a show to go to. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Shout out to Berkeley. And Wanna Creek. Yo, what's good, people? This is BK with Soundwaves. And I got with me here, Serenizzo. Serenizzo. Whatever you want to call Serenizzo. him. Serenizzo. He's a motherfucking man, all right? It's the cataract. Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? Oh, you know what? Probably Taylor Swift. Because she's so untapped, you okay, know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, no disrespect to Travi. Yeah. But if Travi McQueen did that, I really want to go through that. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Speaking the truth, speaking the truth. Yeah. Well, I got the next one. Pink? Or oh, Stink? Right. Ass 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 yeah, it's two different things. I mean, like, I'd probably say the world could have done, okay, if it was either or, I guess Bob Marley would take my preference. And I'm not just saying that because he has that. Like, right. Question real quick, London or Paris? Jeez. No, I've never, I've never been to Paris. But it's my a favorite Paris. song right now. Yeah, you know what it is. I can't really say it, but M bombs, M bombs in yeah, yeah. Paris is my shit. For sure. And actually, on New Year's Eve, I was really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and we had this limo, and we didn't have the song. So I made, I made my friends. So I was like, yo, I, I took looked at my one friend. I was like, yo, you gotta go. Da da. That 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 so he started doing it and then my brother friend like did the drums to it and then I know that song word for word so I, I like did the whole shit and people everyone was probably super annoyed with me but I I that, and I was going up to like random people and sing singing it to them and I would like quiz them and I was like I was like boss of all and then I pointed at them and they were just like what no it was just like. Freeze out with me though, if we do it. Yeah, so I don't hey, get, grab that thought again. Right, grab right, that thought right. again. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get grimy with it. Okay, it's BK up in the twilight zone. Pink when I fuck it, when I motherfucking bone. Don't stink, don't think. I just be going hard and I bring that whole shit to your fucking front yard. What you really wanna do? Do you want to trip? I don't really think so Cause I will just swing my dick and then slap you <laughs> I will Ah, Grammy Yo, Serrano about to rap too yeah. Get it Interview turned to a freestyle session Yo, you hear this L method It's called a concealed weapon They call me a real legend from my audio, man I'm from Berkeley, the Bay That's my fucking body, yo, man Yo, these fucking repugnant rappers Ain't really in the thugging matters how many bitches around here really want to be fucking around with the master, huh? Yeah. No, oh. man, that's funny to me. Motherfucking wearing ice, but that's just money to me, fucking with me. 
Yeah. You motherfuckers will see. You don't believe that I'm hot. Reach in your oven and see. And then get reach it. for your mic, cause I be reaching for mine. I uh. catch a faggot talking shit and get his teeth realigned. So Ooh. drop me a line. Homie, you could call me at nine. But be patient, cause I let it ring a couple of times. I spit a rhyme over the phone, a quarter per flow. Let's you go, pay an extra 50 cents and get your order to go. Oh. Hey! Okay, 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 yeah. you got it. That's cashmere, baby. Hey, you never. What's up, man? This is Serenizzi Cashmere from the Cataracts with my boy DJ Carnage. And, Cataracts! Uh, and we're here in Soundwave. 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 Malibu in. When you want to get <laughs> your Soundwave. Then no. I like my beats fast and my bass. So, you guys are here at the 618 Fest. This is the uh, second year. And it's here in Penn's Landing, Philly. How do you guys feel about being here? This is a, it's a beauty, historic, beautiful city. It's very cool. Yeah. You guys got a big bridge like we do back in San Francisco. It's like yeah. the Golden Gate of the East Coast. I was telling Dave, so, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. it feels it's right at home. Right at home. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. And um, uh, yeah, we've never played like the city of Philadelphia before, so. A brotherly love. So, yeah. And we had word. We're some like brothers too, so. And we're love. Yeah, ah. so it just fits. Everything's right. <laughs> now, if I'm correct, you guys met because David, you made a, a rap CD, yeah. and then Niles, you dissed it, it. Yeah, response. I, so I heard it, and then I dissed David, and then David heard it. We had a mutual friend who introduced us, and then we started. It was like Charlie Cat. Yeah, it was like it was like Tupac versus Biggie all over again, but with a, a small white Jewish guy and like a taller <laughs> Indian guy. Indian guy. We just started. It was funk, and then we we put down the weapons. We put down all the ammunition. Guns. And we and we picked up a piece of paper and a, and and a pen. pen, and we just and the pen was mightier than the sword, yeah. and we. Wow. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now, how has your journey been so far with each other? As you guys are now, you know, buzz. I just feel great. Yeah. I don't think I could have done it with anybody else. Yeah. I don't know. We've been we've been together like I mean we spent so much time together over the last seven years, you know, since high school. And I would probably I can't even hang out with my mom that much. I can't hang out with anybody seriously. Um, but we managed to do it. So obviously there's something special about these parents. Now, what is something that not a lot of people know about the both of you? What do a lot of people would not know? Um, a lot of people don't know that, Jesus, I mean, I'm a pretty transparent character. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What, what people don't know, I, um, that I love, like, I love ketchup on, like, extra ketchup. Whenever there's anything you eat, something with ketchup, I fucking, I need, like, bowls of it. And uh, funny enough, I think he's the. I love it's one of the things we we actually. I do love ketchup. It's like a weird. Only me and him will fucking put a swimming pool of ketchup. Like a hot tub. Under, yeah. So you're telling me like ketchup, you'll eat it with anything like ketchup and well, what? what's the weirdest thing with anything, ketchup? But with the right thing. <laughs> with any any kind of you know. Ketchup. How was your experience uh, making the song "Love Letter" with Shwayze? Oh, you know, Shwayze came over and. I think we had the, the hook and the beat already ready and you know Swayze at the time was like you know and he still is but he's kind of like a really big artist for us because we were just kind of small fish in a big pod and when he came over we really wanted to give him a song that fit his style and have it all prepared and stuff so we were like you know so we went step on you know step on our own feet we just wanted to have something ready you know so we gave it to him we were like hey how do you like this and he was like fucking love it. Very, very, very easy. It's pretty it was simple, easy. simple yeah. process. Yeah. Easy. And then Dev, you know, sang on it also, and it just kind of came together real natural. Uh, yeah. Now, what are we expecting from you guys in the future? Uh, a great. Uh, we want to put out like a timeless pop album. Okay. That's what we want to do, and you know, and that's and sa as same with Dev, same with Dev. So Dev's album. It's gonna come out in in late September, and um, then ours hopefully follows a couple months afterwards. But uh, yeah, we just wanna we just wanna put our footprint in the in the music. 
we can leave it there forever in the world. The world of music, yeah, exactly. Do you have any advice for upcoming artists or anything like that? Oh man, just, you gotta just do, uh, just, you just gotta do you. I know it's so cliche, but you really do, you know, and, and I think that people have so much access to such a wide variety of artists. Record labels get so frustrated because the old, uh, you know, the old machine of just putting something on the radio and thinking people are going to like it just because they hear it a hundred times. People have access to so much music that they get to decide for themselves what they like. Uh, and you see the people that pop up and that really succeed, I think, like Lil B and, you know, Odd Future. Record labels are so confused, like, how did these guys get so popular? But it's because they offer something different that people...